Hi, my name is Andy Goldstein. I'm one of the engineers working on KCP, and today I want to tell you some of the updates for what we've added to the project recently. So in KCP, we have this concept of workspaces. A workspace is like a full Kubernetes or OpenShift cluster. It's got its own URL. It has its own API resources. You can even have a different set of custom resource definitions from one workspace to the next. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off with a little demo, and I'm going to create a couple of organization workspaces. These are called green and gold for this example. And then well, let's take a look and see what's here. So we have uh, three workspaces that show up as organization workspaces off of the root default, which is created by default, and then the two that I just created gold and green. You'll see that each workspace does have its own URL. And as I said before, everything that is in a workspace is separate from all other workspaces. So I'm going to go ahead now and use the green workspace, which basically means that I'm, I'm in that context. And I'm going to create what is called a universal type workspace. And this is where we can eventually put workloads or other uh, other data that we might want to be working with. I'm going to go ahead and create um, another workspace over in gold. Uh, this one will go with dogs. And now if we take a look at all of the workspaces, because I'm currently in the gold workspace, the only thing that we see is the dogs workspace that I just created with its own URL. So next we will use the dogs workspace and let's see if this workspace knows anything about deployments it does not so the first thing i'm going to do to make this workspace aware of deployments is set the workspace up for syncing with a real cluster i have a kind cluster running on my laptop so i'm going to run this command which is part of our cube control plugin to set up this workspace for syncing I'm going to set it up to sync with my kind cluster and this is going to um, use a particular image that we have published and it's going to save off all of the information that I need to send to the kind cluster in the syncer kind yaml file which I can then apply and this will get my agent installed to the kind cluster so you'll see it created a namespace service account couple of RBAC resources, a secret, and a deployment. So I'm still in the context of my dogs workspace. So let's see if we have any deployments now. And we do. This came from the kind cluster. It was automatically imported by the syncer. So next we can actually create a deployment. So I'm going to use the Kubernetes up and running demo and save this as a YAML file and Next, what I will do is apply this, and this is getting applied to my workspace. It is not getting applied to the kind cluster. But because the syncer is running, if I take a look at the deployments, we will see that we have one ready, one up to date, and one available. So let's go ahead and oops, port forward to this pod, and we'll port forward on port 8080. And if I go to my browser and refresh, here is that pod running in my kind cluster via port forwarding. Uh, we will, we do have some ingress work, I just don't have it set up, and we will be having some additional um, ingress and routing features as well for folks to see. Uh, just to show you that things are distinct from a workspace perspective, if we go back up and then we go into the green cats workspace and we try and take a look at deployments there are no deployments so uh, i'm about out of time here but i did want to talk about some of our upcoming features we are working on making it super easy for folks to create apis like custom resource definitions manage their life cycles export them so that other folks in other workspaces can use them so this is providing an API as a service. And we're also working on uh, really extending our transparent multi-cluster abilities with uh, locations and custom placement rules so that as an end user who's developing an application, you don't have to worry about uh, individual clusters. You just think about compute and scheduling constraints and everything that goes with that. So thank you, and I hope you enjoyed.